Hi, New Hope. I hope you're well. But I'm guessing that many of you are pretty tired. Uh, it's a word I've been hearing a lot lately. I've been using it a lot lately. I'm tired. I'm tired of the isolation and the masks. And tired of not being able to hug the people you love or see the people you want to see. I'm tired of not being able to you fill in the blank. I wonder if the past four months have left all of us weary. For one thing, being wary makes us weary. What, what I mean is that simply being extra careful, that, that watchfulness, that, that constant threat of illness that comes with living through a pandemic, it's, it's all really tiring, isn't it? Add to that the grieving that some of us have been doing. The, the waiting for things to change and, and the anxiety that, that goes along with all of that, it, it's exhausting. So brothers and sisters, I, I wanted to encourage you um, with something probably really obvious um, and simple. I want to encourage you to look for rest. And you probably know where I'm going to encourage you to look for rest. It's in Christ. But I'm realizing more and more that that is not something that we just do alone. Two passages I read yesterday that I want to share with you. One was in Isaiah 50. In verse 3 it tells us that Jesus knows how to sustain with a word him who is weary. Jesus knows how to sustain weary people with his words. So we need to hear him if we're weary. We need to hear his promises and his assurances. There's no doubt about it. But we might think about that as a, a solo effort. Like if I'm gonna get through the rest of this really difficult season, I need to do better at getting alone with Jesus. To hear his word, to have fellowship and communion with him, in prayer, to, to hand my burdens over to him and, and hear his sustaining words. And there's no doubt we need to do that. If you haven't been finding the time to do that, you do need to. We all do. But that's not it, and that's not even really why I'm sending this little note out to you. The, the fact is that we need to hear Jesus' sustaining words through each other, through our brothers and sisters, our friends in Christ. Proverbs 12, the other passage that I was reading yesterday, 1225, it says, Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Christ's sustaining words sometimes come to us through the good words of our friends, of our brothers and sisters. It's not just through Bible reading and sermons, although that is the, the word of God coming directly to us when we open his word and we read, but Jesus also supplies us, he can supply us with sustaining words through an encouraging note from a friend or family member, a quick call from a brother or sister. Jesus sometimes delivers sustaining, strengthening words through the good words of someone who loves you and reaches out. So here's the simple thing I want to encourage you to do, church, or to keep doing if you're already doing it, and it's very simple. It's simply send some sustaining words to your weary friends. And maybe it's a text or a call or a card or a visit if that's safe. And simple words. Just pray and deliver those good words that Jesus can use to sustain the people you love. Maybe it's a promise from God, or maybe it's just a, a word of affirmation and assurance that, that they're loved, that they're appreciated, that they're being thought of and prayed for. You know how much that can mean. It can mean so much. I received a couple of notes like that earlier this week, and they made such a huge difference for me. The, these were sustaining words from Jesus that came to me through brothers and sisters in Christ. But they were words that he used to sustain a weary dad and husband and pastor. And you know how much you've been helped by those good words that your friends have sent you 
at just the right time. So let's do this, church. Let's continue to do this. Keep doing it. And and here's an amazing bonus to all of this. In the, in the process of just trying to communicate a simple, strengthening, sustaining word to someone else, we ourselves are sustained, aren't we? It's like the Lord uses our simple efforts to actually strengthen and sustain us and keep us going. So praise be to him for that. May you find rest in him and may we find rest in him together. God bless you, New Hope. Love you. Bye.